Looks like love is in the air today in the fish room. A lot of the fish are doing some interesting stuff. Um, this is a pair of my Northobranchia scuntheri. And it looks like they're just cuddling down there. Never seen them do that. Oh, there's some movement. I wish they would go into that um, moss bowl over there and lay some eggs. But it looks like they're just kind of cruising on the bottom of this tank over here. <laughs> oh man, I've been watching these guys. Looks like they're in the mood. Look at them go. Something interesting about Chinoides is um, the females are actually the initiator. As you can see, she goes to the male. And here they go in their embrace. They've been doing this for quite a while now. But interesting, um, I think they're just kind of doing it for fun for now because I, I haven't seen any eggs being um, released. But eventually probably it will happen. Well, yeah, that's basically what she does. She just kind of goes away for a bit, takes a break. And then when she feels like it, she goes back into the male's area. And they just kind of curl around each other for a bit. Pretty cool stuff. And that's it. Oh no. As you can see, the male is fully colored up now. Nice and red. Um, when he's not in full beating dress, um, he's a much more duller color. Uh, more of a brown. But since they're in the mood, he's nice and red. And looking at me <laughs> and I'm glad to report that um these cockatoides had another batch of fry you can see their bellies are full with um, baby brine shrimp so I'm really happy about that this is now my third spawn of cockatoides this is actually my f1 that spawn but yeah, look at that spawn. It's a pretty big one. Cute little buggers. <laughs> Here's my Garner Aikili fish. They're kind of staying close together too over here. Oh, looks like they're laying some eggs in that um, spawning mop. That's good. You guys are doing a good job. Here's another pair of um, better chinoides. Getting these ready to go out to a customer. And this is my first spawn. Oh yeah, I'm selling these. So if you guys are interested, check out Get Gills. I have a, several pairs of these ready to go. Then I'm happy to report that um, this um, Medaka rice fish, the orange colored, have a bunch of fry in this now and they're really busy there's a uh, quite a bit of eggs let's see if I can find some here we go there's a bunch of eggs in this spawny mop oh there's a so they're doing a really good job look at that so pretty soon hopefully I will have hundreds of orange madakas Here's a new breeding project that I'm working on. I put a couple of um, pea puffers in this. Let's see if we can see them. A lot of times they're hiding underneath that rock. All right, I took all the decoration out so we can see them. There's one of them. I'm not sure if that's the male or female. And um, there's the other one hiding by that marble. 
Oh, and someone just mentioned that um, I should add in some moss or maybe some pro weed into um, for these pea puffers because they're a little bit more shy and they might actually lay their eggs in there. Uh, so I decided to just throw both, both of them in. There we go. Oh, hopefully something happens out of this. Yep, put their leaf back. And then in this tub, uh, you won't be able to see them, but I got a pair of um, red eye puffers in here. And I got a male and a female in here too. But the water is really dark and they're really good at hiding on the bottom. I have a lot of Daphnia and scuds in this pond, so hopefully they have a lot of things to eat. But you'll see an update if anything ever, ever happens. And here's a look at my platinum rice fish tub. And uh, not as much luck with these rice fish, unfortunately. Um, haven't seen very much eggs or eggs at all in this tub and I don't see any fry but um, let's see if I can catch there there is one female that's carrying some eggs right there if I can get her in focus there this little lady pretty cool she just carries that around all day But hopefully at some point, I'll start seeing some fry. There's actually this small one right over here. That was um, the only one um, from a first batch. And what would be a video without some guppies? I really like this strain. This is a green-blue Moscow strain. and. Um, that male is really pretty if not for the rip fins unfortunately but I just pulled a large um, batch of fry out of this tub so in the several months you'll see the result of that hopefully and here's a batch of my uh, great body koi guppies these are the males in this tub and look at that green water but yeah, I really love these guys. Let's go take a look at the females. All right, here's a look at the female uh, great body koi guppies. As you can see, there is about just as much, um, as many females as males. So it's a pretty even batch. All right, and this is my fry, um, this is my egg hatching tank where I just kind of throw in a bunch of eggs from the spawning mops and um, of various species and see what hatches out. Uh, it looks like I have some killifish in here mostly. I used to have some pseudomugles on the top but I don't know what happened to them I guess. I don't know. They're not really compatible with the, the killifish maybe. And there's a lot of um, these uh, red really cherry shrimp and there's a bunch of um, little shrimplets in here too hiding in the moss and I have never really shown these fish before but these are some licorice gummies really cool fish if you can catch them flaring. There's a male back there that likes to flare at the females once in a while. Let's see if we can catch them doing that. There we go. There's that flare. Pretty but it does that. And finally here's a look at my dragon guppies that I still have around. 
you can see I have a bunch still so if anyone's interested let me know it's a gorgeous stream all right thanks for watching <laughs>